Can you name Waleed's strategy for us? There are many people who claim they know how to fix public education. Several years ago, staff at Woodlawn Elementary heard a lot of these ideas. Woodlawn was struggling, test scores were falling, and staff morale was low. The school has some unique challenges. 65% of students are on a free and reduced lunch program, and 30% are enrolled in ESOL, or English for Speakers of Other Languages programs. And because the school serves part of Fort Belvoir, there is an extremely high rate of student mobility. Five years ago, Dawn Hendrick was named principal, and her goal was to change the culture of the school. She started by hiring staff and teachers who believe in two guiding principles. One, that all students can learn, regardless of household income, country of origin, or learning disability. The second is that all new staff be open to a collaborative work environment where teachers work with teachers in finding solutions to help students, all students, learn. At Woodlawn, this open approach to teaching takes form through collaborative team or CT meetings. In attendance at collaborative team meetings are one entire grade level of teachers, say all first grade teachers. Then add an ESOL teacher, a reading or math specialist, a special education teacher, and other instructional assistants. Our teachers meet always twice a week for one hour for language arts and one hour for math, but I. Uh, we are able at Woodlawn to create a uh, master schedule where our teachers have at least one hour of common planning time daily. So our teachers choose to meet almost every single day. In collaborative team meetings, teachers share strategies, ideas, tools, and assessments. It's all about kid talk. These meetings benefit all students, from ones who may be struggling to others who are moving ahead and need an additional challenge. Once you get open your data, the first thing we're going to look at is what successes did you see? Which students did you have that made a half a year's growth? Mm -hmm. Teachers are bringing in just anecdotal records from their guided reading or just working with the students in small group settings where they know that they've identified an area of need for that student and then teachers share ideas and ways that they can adjust what they're teaching and how they're teaching to better meet those students needs. So differentiation at its heart. And we're going to start looking at trends individually within your classroom. I work really, um, really strongly with the rest of our resource team and we, that's our reading resource and our math resource teachers, and we're constantly attending professional developments and doing reading on our own to find different things that we can share with our teachers to help make sure that they have a wealth of resources to meet the needs of each individual student. Each week we um, end our meeting and we have something in hand, whether it's an assessment to give, a pre-assessment to administer, or um, like centers to work on, homework. Um, it's very productive. We make sure that we try to get as many things done as possible. Collaborative team meetings reach across the curriculum with art and PE teachers joining in. They can incorporate current classroom lessons, concepts, even language into the games and activities they teach. Or in this STEAM lab, where students get hands-on practice with the concepts learned in the classroom. Where, what are the sources of water from your watershed? There is always a lot for teachers to discuss in CT meetings, mostly because the classroom is a constantly changing environment. From a teacher's perspective, each new year brings a new group of students, but even on a week-to-week -week basis, a single student may experience a wide range of successes and struggles. We build on what was last year, but this year is completely different than last year. There is no two years that will be together. There is no two quarters that will be together in any given grade level. Once we actually get into the process of teaching every single year, things change, the curriculum changes, the students change, the population changes, and our staff changes. So every year we kind of have to rework how we operate and how we think so that way we can do what's best for the kids. The collaborative team approach allows teachers to take a lead role in determining what's best needed in their classroom. This empowers teachers, making them more accountable for the success of their students. They're all our kids. <laughs> um, I think that's one of the most amazing parts about working at Woodlawn is just the community of staff. Um, we enjoy working together, learning from each other. No one's afraid to ask questions and we're always trying to better our yes, craft. Um, and we all think of the kids as ours and what can we do to help them be successful. The collaborative team lives and breathes the work each day. They know exactly what our students 
do know or um, were not able to know. They all have a collective responsibility for those students, for the, each student in the room. It's not my grade, it's our grade, it's our students. Each, each member on that team holds each other accountable because if one student isn't getting it in room A, that means it's part of their team and their students who weren't able to get it. At Woodlawn, accountability and empowerment is extended to students as well. With increased student accountability comes clear expectations, improved discipline, and greater academic success. We also try to make sure that students are aware of where their needs are and have them set goals so that they can work towards achieving their goals. And when students are involved in that process, it's really powerful um, and we see a lot of growth. The culture of Woodlawn Elementary is changing and improved test scores prove it. Success is felt everywhere. The staff collaborate so well, they've written a book and share their practices with other schools. So while outsiders will give their opinions about how to fix education, at Woodlawn, a change in culture has brought about empowered, collaborative, accountable teachers and students. And they're making some big changes on their own. If you're a team teaching with someone and you're there to have timely conversation of what's working and what's not working and what changes we can make to help students, you, you cannot get better staff development than that. Doesn't matter if you're a first year teacher or a veteran teacher, I feel like everyone brings something to the table and we're all willing to sit down and discuss and share ideas to best meet the needs of our kids. But since we've kind of taken on this family mentality, um, it's really open door. We're allowed to kind of go in and we share, we collaborate, we, we collaborate, we share resources, and we really actually take the time to see how our kids have done. Collaborative teams are definitely the most important um, part of learning because we are, it's an ongoing learning for the teachers at all times, and students benefit from eight teachers as opposed to one.